come to a moment where architecture, design, art, music and things get mixed up much more. And I think that's the challenge. And if you have the courage to take the challenge, so why would you stay within a certain world, a certain universe? Well, my name's Ijo. I do most of my work uh, 3D animations and sculptures. Uh, I was collaborations with fashion brands. I was born in China and I grew up in Europe and graduated studying political science, which had nothing to do with art. And since I've always wanted to explore different possibilities of carving my language uh, as an artist, I took what was the most available back then, which is taking a camera and using flash animations, territories that I never studied, so I had no sort of boundary because of knowledge. Labyrinth was done when I transitioned from Paris to China. And I think when you do uh, a work it, it always reflects the moment of your life, your, what you're living, what you're going through, and I think unconsciously reflected that passage. So all the things I saw when I was little, all the things I saw when I was growing up in Europe, and the, all the things I was seeing as I went back to China, they were all getting melting together. So it's made of three circles, and uh, I wanted the video to have this circular path with the 3D camera, and it goes faster and faster until the last circle where the camera turns around and you lose everything and you lose control. It took us nine months because everything is very detailed. Every detail is really um, taken care of, every camera movement. So I, I really do it as if I'm shooting a film. But the difference between shooting a real film and shooting a film in 3D where you create everything is like you can create anything you want from your imagination. For the people that work with me and sometimes they're exhausted because we push to the limits so hard and uh, sometimes they, they're like, okay, we cannot go that far. And I, I always say, we, can, we have to go that far. It's, it's um, always a challenge, also challenging the limits of technology and to see if there's a soul in technology. For the longest time I resisted not to work with any brands because I wanted to be like a purist. But since the recent two years I thought if everything is changing and there's a different system that is coming, I should adapt to, to that. I never studied fashion and for me it's very new. So for Iceberg it's really starting from scratches and I really uh, devoted myself because as you go along you're learning. So when I'm doing like uh, an embroidery I think about okay it has to be embossed, made with this material and then, and then the rest should be um, you know in a different material, how you juxtapose. So in a way it's very close to the way I do 3D animation because you have to also choose fabric in the 3D animation, how the texture would be. And it's the same, it translates into fashion, if it's cotton or cashmere or something. So it's very new and I feel really excited about it. Hollowness is a film that basically I made for a collection of French brand called Each Other. They took basically moments of Unexpected Hero and we project it onto clothes and then it can become embroidery element or it can become embossed onto a jacket and different details of the video. So once the collection was done, uh, I thought it would be interesting to maybe shoot a video with the clothes with real people. And for me, the idea of each other, independently from the brand, you think about each other for me, it means everybody. It means for you or for, for me or for a famous person. It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. So I wanted to show that sort of modern democracy, this democracy that exists only for me on social media, where you can flip through and you see um, you know, a picture posted by a celebrity and then you see a picture posted by your cousin. So the film shows a set of characters through uh, the state of 
anger, the state of laughter, the state of craziness and the state of happiness and euphoria. So I just think that in order to show the idea of a modern democracy, you have emotion is what makes us um, human. I always believe that a multimedia is the future and today we live in the world where everything is coming together. You look at development on social media, you have to be able to make videos and shoot clips. I always thought that it's important to be able to juggle between different mediums. I think we really come to a moment where um, all the disciplines, all the worlds are really blurring the edges and I think we're going to go much more 